it would be remembered as one of the most tumultuous seasons in Kansas basketball history and one of the greatest. The Jayhawks were in trouble from the beginning. They struggled against lesser teams, then lost Archie Marshall for the season against St. John's. Over the course of the season, Larry Brown would lose nine scholarship players to injury, academic problems, or dismissal. By mid-January, he was forced to recruit two players off the football team just to fill the roster. Brown had shifted his lineup. Sophomore Kevin Pritchard was moved to point guard. Another sophomore, Jeff Geldner, was moved into the starting lineup. Geldner's three-point shooting spread defenses, freeing up Manning to score even more. Forward Milt Newton, who had replaced Marshall, had become a scorer. And despite his injuries, forward Chris Piper played anyway and gave the Jayhawks valuable minutes. It began to work. Kansas won nine of its next 13 games. Kansas entered the NCAA tournament as a sixth seed and was given little chance of getting past the second round. Point guard Kevin Pritchard was injured, but the Jayhawks got by Xavier, Murray State, and Vanderbilt to reach the Midwest Regional Finals in Pontiac, Michigan. They never got their offense going. Newton, two. Manning cheering. They would face the Kansas State Wildcats, who had upset the number one seed, Purdue. It would be the biggest KU K State game in history. I tell you, you have to have a Kansas and K State have played each other 213 times over the past 81 years. This is the first time they've ever met outside of the state of Kansas or Kansas City, Missouri. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The game drew 32,000 fans to the Pontiac Silverdome. Kansas State had one of its best teams ever. The winner would advance to the Final Four to be held in Kansas City. For Kansas, at forward, a six You know, I've always said if you play hard, play unselfishly, and, and try to make your teammates better, good things will, will happen. And that team did it, you know, it, to the best of their ability uh, when it really mattered. We weren't the best physical talent, but we were the best team. And you know, we all took pride in that, uh, going out and playing the team game. And that's, how, that's why we were successful. It was a defensive battle. Kansas State held a seven-point lead early in the second half. What an intelligent play that... Then Kansas made its move. Grab the air hook. And for two. But the Jayhawks would have to rely on more than just Manning. Piper and Newton cut the lead by hitting from the outside. Then freshman Keith Harris gave Kansas the lead. At 1130 Harris with a steal. And that is why Larry Brown. Reserve guard Scooter Berry put the game away. Oh, underneath that door cut. Scooter Berry. Seven weeks earlier, Kansas officials had doubted whether their team would even be invited to the tournament. Now, they were headed to the final four. We're going back to Kansas City. We're going to the final four in our backyard. We got a chance to win a national championship. It was only a 40-mile bus ride from Lawrence to Kemper Arena, but no team in the Final Four had survived a tougher journey to get there. We weren't ranked very high. You know, the Dukes and the Oklahoma and Arizona were, you know, kind of had the, the, uh, the burden of rankings and all that kind of stuff. So, hey, we, we just felt like we go out there, play our game. We win, we win. If we don't, we go home. We've had a great year. We, we exceeded a lot of expectations from the middle point on. In the semifinals, Kansas met fifth-ranked Duke. The teams had played six weeks earlier in Lawrence, and Duke had won in overtime. Just as in the first game, Kansas jumped out to a big lead early. Now it is Smith, I, Manning, and Newton's three is there. That's his second three-point shot. And 
Brent, Kansas had Duke down in the first game, 23 to eight. Duke can't get a basket. Another turnover forced, and it was Manning with a hand on it. Newton goes for two. Duke fought back. But this time, Kansas held on. Here's Pritchard in low. Oh! And he hits it! Oh! What a shot! To get the job, Kansas Jayhawks will play for a national championship. This is Kansas City, and tonight, Grace will be at a premium. For Danny Manning of Kansas, the challenge is to maintain the style that has made him player of the year. And for Larry Brown, to keep alive Kansas's dream of the glass slipper. On April 4th, 1988, Kansas took the court to play for a national championship for the first time in 31 years. Billy Tubbs' Oklahoma Sooners were eight-point favorites. They averaged 103 points a game and loved to run other teams off the court. It was Larry Brown's biggest concern. We had a meeting with Coach Brown, and he said, guys, we know how Oklahoma's going to play. They're going to run up and down. Let's slow the ball down. Let's slow the ball down and play our game. He leaves the huddle. Danny, Danny says, hey, guys, come here. Forget what Coach Brown just said. We're going to run with them. He said, we're going to run with Oklahoma. We were like, let's go. Let's do it. In the turnover department for the Jayhawks, but Pritchard goes and forces one himself, and that's five by the Sooners. So not a huge advantage. Now Newton down. Wrap around. Beautiful shot by Newton. He has been the unknown Jayhawk in this tournament. Uh, Brent doing a great job offensively. Timeout. A thrilling start. The first half was played at a frantic pace, and both teams scored at will. It's another three for Dave Seeger, number six. Steal by Manning, he'll put it down. Here we go. Kansas hit 71% of its shots in the first half. At the intermission, the game was tied at 50 all. I think the players at, at that time felt they could beat anybody in any, any kind of game. I say they can play an up-tempo game, but they can't beat Oklahoma playing this way. Did Coach said, all right, guys, you prove your point. You prove you can run with Oklahoma. He goes, you prove you can play their game. Now... Make them prove to you that they can play your game. There, Manning knocks it back to Pritchard. Here's Newton looking for the hot hand. That's 14. But Oklahoma gained momentum and would reel off eight straight points. Getting away with it, and Oklahoma builds a five-point lead. 65-60 Sooners. Now, it was time for another Kansas comeback. Was one up in Seattle. Manning off the fake with a great play. He can tie it with a free throw. Kansas State and Duke. The next to fall would be Oklahoma if they keep it up. Piper, 71 68, 720. the 1 half court defense. But the fact that they never got a big lead, I think, gave us a chance to get into the last couple of minutes, and that was when Danny you know, happened to win it for us. Manny off the dribble. And Manny. You can't say enough about the game that young man has played tonight. Shaking his fist now to his teammates. The one thing that I love about Danny Manning, everybody plays better around him. As now he wants the ball. Now he wants it. Normore penetrates and drops it off the pipe. And the buzzer hits the field. They used the entire 45. Now Danny Manning shooting to give the Kansas Jayhawks their second national championship. Kansas has won it. 